you guys? I am what? I cannot share it. Okay, well then you watch the TV. No, I'm watching my TV. Okay, your sister doesn't want her to watch. Either you watch quietly with Kinsley, or you go watch something else. Oh. Okay, let's take. Okay, I am back with another cooking video. Okay, so we're gonna get started, but first, hello everybody, hello everybody. It's Paisley B. Paisley B. Paisley B. For those of you who are new here, it's not Paisley, okay? Some fajita stuffed salmon. Oh, <sighs> I'm so excited to make this. I'm so excited to show you all how to make this. And yeah, so oh, I'm gonna be talking over the video because I want to listen to music while cooking because I'm just kind of in that little vibe right now. So I'm gonna be doing a talk over video and letting y'all know what exactly I'm doing. Um, that and as you can see, my kids are crazy. So yeah, we're gonna be jumping right into that. So if you would like to know how to make you some Taco Tuesday because you don't eat the tortillas because you're on a diet, salmon, but stuff with fajita seasonings, you keep on watching and then you let me know how you feel about it in the comment box below. But don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button and that subscribe button. That like button. Okay. Okay, so the ingredients that you will need um, for this is some cream cheese, cream cheese, <laughs> some shredded Mexican cheese, um, some minced garlic, some butter, the seasonings. Like I told y'all, I'm a lazy chef, so this is the bell pepper, onion, and red bell pepper cut up already. Got that from Publix. Um, the fajita seasoning, and of course, you need your salmon. So, let's get into this. So, I just washed my salmon. So now I'm going to slice it. Daddy! Let's see. So I'm adding the cream cheese inside of the bowl along with the Mexican cheese and also the fajita seasoning and other seasons that I would like to add to taste. Um, you can really play it by your taste buds. I like for my stuff to be seasoned, not so much salty, but seasoned. So some people might just add a little salt and pepper. That's not going to do it for me. So this is what we're adding. about two tablespoons of butter and a little pinch of minced garlic and I want that to melt down really good then I'm going to add in my veggies and let those cook down and then I'll put the top on it and let it simmer on low so that the veggies can get really tender
veggies have cooked down perfectly. Now it's time to add them inside of the cheese mixture. So I love to add in the veggies while they're still hot to help melt the cheeses together. Um, and it kind of makes the mix like perfect to stuff. Um, also, you want it to cool down a bit before you actually start stuffing it into the salmon as well. But mix all of it up. Make sure there's no clumps of cream cheese or just you want everything to be distributed evenly. Next we're going to take our clean pieces of salmon. You always want to cut it at the thickest part of the salmon and be careful because you don't want to cut too high into the salmon or too low otherwise it'll rip whenever you're um, cooking it. And it's also more delicate than the chicken because salmon is, I don't know how to explain it but if you pull it too hard it will tear so you got to be extremely careful when cutting and stuffing it. We're going to season our salmon. Yes, our salmon. I'm going to sprinkle the fajita seasoning, put some olive oil on top, some Tony Saturan, some Old Bay, and you know, my other little seasonings or whatever. You season it to your taste, but this is just how I do it for my taste buds once again. salmon so when you're doing this not, not okay wait wait the putty should be a little bit cooled off but it's still going to be a little sticky so just be really careful when doing this um one because you don't want to get all over the place and two you don't want the salmon to rip it's so easy you see how it's ripping at the bottom it's so easy for it to rip so just be completely careful move slow take your time um you can also do as I'm doing and stick it with a um, toothpick, but that's only for the time being. I can't really cook it in there like that. So let's finish. So I didn't clean out the little burnt pieces from me cooking the vegetables because I still want that taste in the pan. I'm just putting more butter in the pan. Yes, I cook with a lot of butter. I don't want to hear none of that in them comments, okay? I love butter. I love cooking with butter and olive oil. But anyways, yes, we're just letting that butter melt down. Then we're going to add the salmon to start blackening. You guys, when adding the salmon, please move slowly because you see how the cheese is like oozing out already. You want to be extremely careful because, yeah. Um, and what I should have did was put the cheese on the outside of the pan, if that makes sense. See how I turned that last one in like that so that it wouldn't spill out so easily. But I was moving too fast. But that's a lesson for me to teach y'all. Don't do that. <laughs>
cook on that side for about mm, I would say like seven minutes and then now I'm starting to um, flip it over and I'm your stove should be on like medium high so that it can blacken the salmon like how it did then once you flip it over you want to put it on medium low and um, put the top on so the salmon can cook all the way through Okay, so there you have it folks. I'm gonna plate this up and take my little video for Instagram. Um, I'm still working on the presentation part of cooking. I'm horrible at it. I do know that you're supposed to wipe the plate off. I'm gonna do all of that once I put the food on there, but how to set the food up, I'm still learning that. Okay, I'm not a professional, never claimed to be. I'm just a mom who loves to be in the kitchen, so don't go too hard on me, okay? But I'm so upset because I forgot to get salsa at the store. But sour cream worked just fine. Please let me know if you all want to see any of the recipes and which ones. Don't forget to like, 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 and subscribe. And make sure to hit that post notification button so y'all can know when the next time I post a video. I love you all so much. And thank you for tuning in to my mom cooks video. Bye. Thank you.